So we're looking at a suspended timber floor detail here. Okay, so um, starting off, we'd start off with a tradition strip foundation. Okay, so it's 350 depth by 9 or 1050 wide. All right, so it's your uh, block detail. So it's 350 watt, 100 mil outside leaf, uh, 150 mil cavity, and 100 mil inside leaf. Okay, so same as what um, we've done with previous strip foundation. Come up your four blocks for your DPC. Okay, the difference with a, a suspended timber floor this time is your subfloor is not directly um, in line with your DPC. It's now stepped down and it's in line with your radon barrier. Okay, so when you come up your third block, you come up your 150 mil block here for your radon barrier. And then that's where your 150 mil subfloor goes. Right, and in under your red and barrier, you have your binding. Okay, so as you can see, there's no insulation in this area here. The insulation is in the, the timber itself, in between the joists. Okay, so sitting up on top of your subfloor, then you have a, what you call a dwarf wall. Right, that's made up of 150 mil blocks. Okay, as you can see, there's little gaps in between them. That'll be throughout the floor, so air can circulate around. Right, for our air to get into it, um, we have a vent that goes out through the wall here, okay, and that is above the fourth block, okay, it's a 65 mil vent, so we're coming up, um, coming up 50, and then 65 for your vent, and then 50, 50 mil lintel up on top to carry the blocks on, okay. So you also have a, a DPC sitting on top of your lintels then. Coming in across your vent here. Up over the... Uh, stepped up and up over the lintel there. Okay, so then your 100mm insulation hugs the inside leaf here. And up on top of your dwarf walls you have a wall plate. Okay, this timber here is your wall plate. Okay, that's 100mm by 75 then you have 150 mil joists, and in between them you have like rock wool insulation. And then sitting on top of that tongue groove floor and your um, internal render, etc. Okay, so we'll be cracking with our suspended timber floor. So Do my strip foundation first one. Okay, one on five up. Okay, height three fifty. Okay, in three fifty, three fifty, and three fifty left over. Okay, so it's a 100 mil outer leaf, 150 mil cavity, and a 100 mil inner leaf. So, I'll just bring them up nice and light for now. Okay, so I'm going to come up 75 mil here, like line across, and I'm just going to insert my rebar. Okay. Okay, it's just to show that our it's reinforced with steel. Our base foundation, our steel foundation. Okay, so I'm gonna pin the black work. So 250 mil blocks, we do the outer leaf, 215 and a 1 mil bed of mortar, okay, 21.5, 21 1.5, 1 mil bed of mortar, 21.5, 1 mil.
the block work in. Right, so working on four blocks for a DPC. Okay, I'm in blue here. DPC, DPC. Right, I'm going to put in my red arm barrier next. Okay. Comes up 150 here. Turn block on the outer leaf and bring it across the cavity. Bring it on up okay. and come across in 50 there. Okay, bring it back down and shoot on out across the floor. Okay, so this is now our 150 mil subfloor. Okay, the continuation now to clear it. Bring some concrete symbols in the subfloor. Okay, so under that subfloor we have some binding. Fifty mil, okay, one hundred and fifty mil compactors. Symbols for hardcore. Okay, so. Concrete infill here, the base will be stability. Okay. okay. I like to monitor together. Right. So I'll uh, concentrate on my actual suspended timber flow first of all. So I'm going to put in my dwarf walls first of all. Right. I'm going to set out 100 mil from the wall. So it's 150. Okay, and on top of that then we have a wall plate, 75 mil wall plate. Okay, off the top of that then, that is where our 150 mil joist is going. Okay, top and joist. Okay, I'm going to put a slight taper at the end of it here. Yeah, just so it's not hitting any snots in the wall. Okay, sitting on top of our joys is 25 mil timber floor. And we have our 12 mil render on the wall. Okay, we have got the board. Floor in at 100 million feet. 100 million ton roof. Okay, so in between the joists we have some insulation. Okay, 
rock with insulation. So, okay, put that in. Okay, so that is the actual suspended floor detail and uh, here, but we're not finished with our cavity yet. Okay, so just above our DPC, we're going to have a vent, okay, to let air circulate in around the, the suspended floor. Okay, so we're going to come up 50, okay, and we're going to come up, sorry, we're going to come up 70. 70 and then 65 mil vent. Okay, so the vent goes right through the wall. I'm going to put my screen uh, there. Okay. Okay, so that is our vent going through the wall. So obviously with it being a vent, it's going to be plastic. So we're not going to be able to sit blocks down on plastic. So you have a lintel here, okay? So we'll just put in two little symbols here. Okay, to show that there's, it's reinforced with steel, to show that it's lintel. Okay, so with that in mind, we're going to have to put in a stretch DPC here. Okay, so it's a 65 mil lintel, okay, 65 mil um, vent. So, step DPC sits in and in under the lintel here. Okay, so we stepped up here. And press here. Okay, so if any moisture does go in. It won't climb up the DPC there. Okay, so that is our step DPC. Now we're going to put in our 100 mil insulation on an inside leaf. And that comes on down. So there's our DPC here. Okay, and the insulation is tied in with water ties. So we're putting our hardcore here.
And that is open in some concrete detail here. That is our suspended timber floor detail. Okay, so we started off with our strip foundation 1050 or 350 high. Okay, our 350 watt 100 mil, 150 cavity 100 mil, concrete infill. Okay, uh, coming up our four blocks for our DPC. Our, our red arm barrier comes in at our third block high, comes across the cavity, comes up 150, comes across our inner leaf down 150 and out on and under the floor. Okay, that's filled with a subfloor here. Before the subfloor goes in, obviously you have your hardcore 40 mil binding. That's what your radon barrier sits on top of, then your subfloor. Okay, then on top of your subfloor you have a 150 mil to our fall with a 100 by 75 mil wall plate. Okay, your button, your joists then sit on your wall plate. They will be going in 400 mil centers, but you won't see it in our this view here so there's insulation in between the insulation in between the the joists okay so you have tongue and groove floor 100 mil boards our skirting board our inside our inner leaf render actually that's what i forgot i forgot our outer leaf render which is 18 mil okay so the vent comes out past our plaster as well okay so that's our outer plaster 18 mil um, 100 mil insulation so after our DPC we have a 65 mil vent a 65 mil lintel up on top concrete lintel reinforcement steel stepped DPC okay comes in at the bottom of the lintel here on the vent along the top of the vent and then is stepped up onto the top of the lintel on the inside 100 mil insulation and you got the wall height that is the suspended timber floor.